just lie Talk with intent of the next They keep holding me, holding me, holding me down Holding me, holding me Welcome to the class that I guys, I'm sharing your host for today and I'm sharing with you a collaboration or a challenge, I don't want to get it wrong, um, hosted by the lovely domestic diva and guys my channel music is provided by Stable and Lonely and this piece is a Pinterest inspired piece. So guys stick around. Um, and do check out Stable and Lonely link in the description box and go across to his channel. So this is a Pinterest inspired piece. This is the piece from Pinterest and guys I'm sharing with you what I did to get that piece. Now my niece had this old mug. It's like a toy mug and um, I will stick the top to it. I hated the front so I'm thinking I'm gonna use the back as the front. I got it stuck and I got it painted in place. So guys like I said this is a um, challenge hosted by Domestic D um, Diva and please do head across to her channel and check out all her inspirations guys. I love I'm hooked when I go across to her channel because she has such lovely things. So say hi for me when you go across. If you're coming across from her channel, welcome. So guys, this piece that I have here, it's actually my son's own. And what he do, um, he does with this piece is sift sand. When they when the sand gets too chunky for um, doing masonry and so, so on. So I stole it from him and I thought that I would revamp it into this Pinterest inspired piece. I've already painted it grey, sanded it and painted it and what I will be doing is coming in with my black paint and just covering throughout. Now this is a um, almost like a black to grey paint. I love using it. It's a weather paint so it's, you can use it outdoor and um, this piece came with the netting that you're seeing there and I so love the effect that that netting gave. I did not remove it. I lost the footage for when I dry brush the white on to give it that farm style look. I'm so sorry about that. And I have a little hook that I'll be placing to hold the mug in place. And I will just flip it upside it down. Now the difference with my piece and the inspired piece is that my own is on the left side. My hook is on the left side. Whereas the inspiration piece is on the right side. I am also going to stick the side on with glue to hold the mug slanting guys i used a piece of cardboard to construct the roof and i also painted it and dry brush it on well my brush i dipped it in white paint and i just dab it across giving it that effect and it was on the dry side so i'm just using my glue gun to adhere the roof to the piece and guys this is so simple i did not buy anything here so this is a free <laughs> DIY cardboard everything that I had for years that was there um, this is another piece of cardboard and on the inspiration piece has a home sign so I'm going to use this piece to construct the home sign and I'm um, just bending it so that it will fit under the roof now all I did is just um, this is the inspiration with the home sign on top all I did is just use my dry brush again and run it on the piece. I printed this home sign and I cut it. I left the little whites in between because I love the effect that it gave. And I'm just using my Mod Podge and I'm going to paste it onto the piece. So guys, happy to have you on board. I hope you are enjoying all the ladies' presentation that's doing this collab um, challenge. And um, I so enjoy doing this thing now. I was never a collaboration or a challenge person, but I find myself doing a lot more of this. So all I'm doing is adhering the bottom to the little triangle piece to form the roof. Guys, you're seeing my television on. I love watching television while I'm doing these DIY with the volume off, of course. When my grandchildren is watching, you will hear some volume. Now I painted this piece white, it's a clay pot, I love using clay pot, I love painting it and I have my little succulent, this is a real succulent and I'm just going to insert it into the pot. 
now at the bottom of the pot I painted it um, copper and I love the effect of copper these days guys and I'm just gonna place it under the teapot which should look like a watering can now on the inspiration piece had this also hanging this piece hanging from the side so I just inserted that and on the other side had a air plant normally we have air plants around here but I haven't seemed to be getting any so this is my piece that I'm using and on the piece also had the words bloom and I'm just going over with my marker and then I'm going to come in with my sharpie and darken that so guys I am loving this piece actually my son and my husband fell in love with it and, I, and you know men don't really like a lot of stuff but they did like this piece so and they are always so supportive of everything that I do I'm just inserting a little piece here to personalize my piece and guys this is how it looks I'm so loving this I think it turned out lovely the home sign I love how the curves are formed as opposed to the other one and um, of course I have my teapot glued to the side and my little succulent gorgeous so thanks Sonia for having this and I am doing your other challenge also so I hope you have enjoyed guys this is the inspiration piece and this is my piece I did not put a, a bow to, on my piece but I'm loving it anyway this is to the front door where my entrance is and when guests come in that's what they, what they are going to see so guys thanks again I'll see you soon thanks for watching thanks for always supporting and guys I'll catch you later. Bye guys.